Salutations to you all out there. This is Joshua from the Authentic Intent channel. I am the content creator here in Minneapolis. I want to thank you all for both your positive and negative comments throughout the year. It has really helped me sharpen my iron and become a better person in ways that really I hope you can see during the videos. This channel is made possible by viewers like yourselves. So I offer you an opportunity to contribute through Patreon, PayPal, and Venmo. Together we can make this message reach even further to new people outside of the social media echo chamber, as we call it. I encourage you all to support what you love, whether it be here on this channel or other truther channels. Let's vote with our dollar and not in the polls. I appreciate you all, family, friends, and YouTube content creators. Now I hope you enjoy the video and learn something, giving you an opportunity to share with strangers out in public. I'll see you soon. Hey, how you doing? Good, how are you? Pretty well, thanks. What you got here? Uh, I got a question for you. Okay. Do you think it's possible to land a probe on an asteroid and mine it and then bring the materials back to Earth? I'd hope so, because if not, we're in trouble long term. Oh, what, why is that? Uh, just the idea of space flight, being able to get out there a little bit more overpopulation. Okay. Yeah, fair enough. You ever go on the YouTubes? Oh, sir. I'm sorry, sir. I do. Um, okay. Do you mind taking my information just to have maybe another voice in your head to... Well, you know, I, I, even if I completely disagree, I'm always glad glad to just learn and try to have a report. Please disagree so that then you can develop discernment and then sure. formulate your own opinions on stuff, right? Think for yourself. That's all we need. Right That's now. right, man. Other yeah. Than. So I, I, I admire that, even if I don't necessarily believe in flatter. Agreed. Yeah. So, Would you like a water? I have a water bottle of water here. You're very gentlemanly. Thank you, but no thank you. I'm on the last leg of my ground. All right, Bye. man. Yeah. Enjoy the weather. Hey, you too. Take Bye. Care,
Pretty well. How about yourselves? So you were wondering if I'm serious, huh? Yeah, I, I mean, I had this couple doing? of questions and see what yeah. are you doing today. I'm doing wonderful. It's beautiful weather. It's not snowing, so I'm always happy with that. No snow. Can I read something for you? Of course, yeah. Yeah, so the Suez Canal connecting the Mediterranean with the Red Sea is 100 miles long without any locking points to make the water uninterrupted in a continuation of two seas. When constructed, the Earth's supposed curvature was not taken into account, and it was dug along a horizontal datum line 23, 26 feet below sea level, passing through several lakes from one sea to another, with the datum line and the water's surface running perfectly parallel over 100 miles. If the Earth were a sphere, there should have been 6,666 feet of curvature. What do you think about that? I mean, I haven't studied like a lot of geography, to be honest with you. Yeah. Yeah, but I don't know. I don't, I don't wanna, yeah, I just wanted to ask you honestly. I don't want to take your time. I just no, to yeah, ask that's why I'm here is to have my time offered. Thank you. Yeah. I want to ask you why do you think the Earth is a flag that we have? What two rules? Yeah. No offense, okay? I don't mean to say this to offend no. you. And usually, when you say that, right? No, some no, people I, could I take just, offense. No, I but I did read this. Things, you know? I did just read this that over a hundred miles, there should be six thousand six hundred and sixty-six feet of curvature. So that's the only thing. So water is our totem here on Earth, and it always lays level and flat. And when it's at an incline, it will seek its level, fill that container, and the top part will always be level and flat. If that makes sense, yeah, right? Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah, and so I guess my question to you would be. If I feel that water lays level and flat, how is it that it could be a sphere in outer space of which you've never seen before with your own eyes? I don't know, to be honest. I have no idea. Yeah, well, fair enough, right? I mean, but you don't have to, you don't have to appease to authority. Because you're a human being, she's a human being, he's a human being, I'm a human being, and we can observe things ourselves. And we don't have to say, well, I'm not this, somebody else must have figured it out, so I'm just going to go watch the Twins game tonight. Right? And that's what usually a lot of people do, unfortunately, is they just give their authority over to someone else. And I think that's a very dangerous place to be, in my opinion. Because you can observe water lay level and flat. I mean, if you don't mind, if I take your bottle here, it lays level and flat. Okay, so no matter if it's in this 16 ounce bottle or the oceans, water lays level and flat. And the only way that they can trick our minds into thinking it does this is by saying gravity. But I can't experience gravity here on Earth because I'm the one that picks this up. I am the force that picks this up. And if I drop it, that's what they call gravity. But if I'm the, I'm the finger holding it together, right? So. Can this hover? Can I like, even if I think this to float, right, in the middle of the air, I am still the medium between it and this, and I am creating it to float. But you can't observe bendy water anywhere objectively without another person implementing or enforcing it to do that, if that makes sense. Yeah, I get you. Yeah. yeah. Thank you so much. Yeah, no worries, man. I appreciate you stopping. This is my YouTube channel. Have a good walk, walk out there. Hope to see you again. What is fake news? Yeah, well, in your opinion, what is considered fake news? Man, there's a lot of fake news out here. In here at Lake Calhoun? No, I'm saying, oh, when okay. I say out here, I'm speaking in, in the, the world. world. In the world, yeah. Yeah. What do you What do you prescribe to like in like Nipsey CNN? H Nipsey Hussle. Okay. So what do you know about Nipsey Hussle so far as, as his death? What do you know? Uh, he died at age 33, which uh, is kind of odd. They kind of do that a lot. Right. Um, I think that Nipsey Hussle, the character is dead, but I think the person playing Nipsey Hussle is still alive. Uh -huh. And I think it was just maybe like a contract of 10 years of, here, you do this for 10 years, like, you sign up with, for example, I don't know who he signed with, Suge Knight, you sign up and you do all your things and you play this character called Nipsey Hussle, 
and then at 33 you die and then you become something else. So he's not really dead. I never saw an open casket. I didn't go to his funeral, so how do I know if he's dead or not? Do you believe the government killed him? I don't believe he's dead. Prove that he's dead in the first place. What you're saying, though, it makes a lot of sense because I feel a, a certain percentage of that way, too. But then I look at it from another point of view of... The, the culture yeah. of a black person. Mm -hmm. you know, With Sebi and stuff like that. And him being in a gang, you know, he was yeah. an ex gang member. Oh, sure. Allegedly. That, that turned activist. Allegedly. And, you know, <laughs> tried to help his community and, you know, people that he grew up with. He stopped them and helped them get jobs. And, you know, he was doing for the community. He was giving back to his community for whatever he did. He might shot people, kill people. Mm -hmm. You know, we don't know none of that. But what we do know is he was a part of it, and he changed. You know, being a black man, you know, from experience, when a person, a black person, go through something in life, you know, and, and then you, you transform, a, you know, convert it to something good, and then you get killed for it. Like, all, all our leaders, a black man leaders got killed. Malcolm X. Martin Luther King, Tupac, Nipsey Hussle, all these were people who was trying to do something different. You feel what I'm saying? And they kill them. So me personally, I think the government it was a part of that, and that's fake news. Okay. They're not going to tell you that because they want you to guess. They want you to try to figure it out. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah, what if Nipsey Hussle was an agent and he did all that to gain the trust of the black community? And he really wasn't anything to really be looked up to because he was an agent the whole time. And for him to, quote, die because he was doing this documentary with a man who would then prescribe to be a natural healer. Because through the court system, allegedly, Dr. Sebi, he healed people through HIV, AIDS, cancer. And through the court system, he showed through evidence and testimony right. that these people were cured of HIV, AIDS. Right. So could it be possible that he was promoted as something to then get a particular narrative out there so that then you would say, ah, those white people in the government did it, but what if he's part of it? Like, and he's not really dead. So, no, I don't the allegedly, think that. Dr. CB, allegedly, that's been proven, so it's not really allegedly, it is, you know. Well, allegedly, I can't, I don't take anything that the government tells me, I just don't. I, I, I appreciate what he did, mm -hmm. and, and through the natural healing and stuff like that. Like, I could offer him credit for that, but I haven't done his diet myself. So I can't say whether it's true or not. You ever read the Uniform Commercial Code? Mm -mm, no. The UCC? Okay. You ever even heard of it? No, I don't think I have. When you read that, mm -hmm. then re, re resource. Mm -hmm. You know, reevaluate. Yeah. Reevaluate everything that you're doing. Because I'm. I, I can see you smart, you know. And you're trying to make some type that. of way for yourself. The same thing you're doing, mm -hmm. the same thing Tupac was doing, Nipsey Hussle, and it wasn't allegedly. Like right now, you allegedly, you know, you don't want nobody to say that about you. And I don't you, know that. You know, I'm just saying, yeah. you, you know what you're trying to do. Yeah. You're trying to bring truth to the people. Mm -hmm. You understand what I'm saying? From yeah. going off But I'm also life. sharing my opinion, Your too. Your opinion, right? exactly. Yeah. So, my opinion. That's what I'm saying. Mm -hmm. Read the uniform commercial code. Once you read that, that's going to that's gonna enlighten you on a lot of stuff. Can I ask you kind of a personal question just because of the color of your skin? Uh -huh. What do you think about the whole idea of reparations being involved in the political system right now? Shit, ain't no reparations. Well, I mean, that's what's being brought up in the political system. $700 billion or something like yeah, that is supposed to be offered. But it's, it's and not. how do you prove that? But right? we've, been, we've been promised reparation from slavery. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Who, who have, what black person you know have got reparation? <laughs> I remember than, the Dave Chappelle episode. Other, <laughs> than, other than natives. <laughs> right? You know, natives get it. Yeah. Well, you know they also have a lot of alcoholism and gambling problems, though, too. Yeah. Yeah, but we're talking about reparation. Yeah. We ain't talking about gambling or alcohol. Yeah. We're talking about what you titled it. Right. Reparation. Natives got reparation. Japan. Black. Japan, we get, Japan got promised. We get lies. We get promises. We get promised lies. Empty promises. Mm -hmm. We get promised lies. So, you know, personally, that's how I feel about reparation. 
I'm Could sure. you prove that your your personal ancestors um, were brought here as slaves? I ain't got to. My color is because you were born here in America, yeah, right? Right. So you know how I can prove it? Yeah. Because my DNA. Yeah. My DNA. Yeah, that's what I'm wondering. My DNA yeah. was my great 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 grandfather's blood, and he was a slave. So that makes me a slave. Period. And, and, well, I and, think we're all slaves and, and, if you pay taxes. And I was, and I was, and I was <laughs> just about to say that yeah. too. You know, Fed Reserve. And personally, yeah. everybody is slave. If you have a social security number, yeah, you are a slave. And you have a and birth that's certificate. Why, <laughs> that's why I act, that's why I told you to get that you uniform commercial code. Okay. And you will you will understand a lot because I can show you some things. I would love to see what you, you have because I'm just out here offering what I have. Not yeah. to be honest with you. Not a lot of people offer me a lot of their information. That's why I'm giving you. So With the information I'm giving you, I promise you, mm -hmm. ain't nobody gonna come up here and tell you to get the get a book. I'm telling. That's what I'm telling you to do. Yeah, right. Ain't nobody telling you to get a book. Go get the uniform commercial code, the redemption manual, and read it. Mm -hmm. and you gonna it's gonna be your eyes up on. It. it ain't gonna be about white, black, green, yellow. For me, it never has been. It's gonna be class. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah, I feel you. I I totally know where you're coming from. About what color you is, no more. Mm -hmm. Either you ass poor class, middle class, up upper class or high class, and that's how that's what's going on right now. I think you're I think you're on to something in that regard. But I also would add an amendment that you're either paying taxes or you're not. Yeah. Well, you know, technically, <laughs> and then this is something else too. What you said, what do we think about reparations? Yeah. Because I believe every black person deserves reparations because in the Constitution, we're not even considered one whole person. We're considered three-fifths of a person. Right. So why not they didn't give even, us reparations? They didn't even give us... Yeah, fair enough. They didn't even give us, you know... Uh, acknowledgement. Uh, acknowledgement no, of a, of a human person. being. Mm -hmm. Could I ask you being. another personal serious question? Because um, this gets brought up a lot in the, in the quote, truther community that people just don't move on and forget the past, like the Jew idea and Holocaust, and how come the black community doesn't just move on without the reparation well, stuff? How do you move on when you're constantly being oppressed? I'm going to ask you. I don't oppress you, though, no, do I? No, right? no not you. you are. So yeah. speaking I'm just in general. Yeah. In general though. But right. How can a person move on? That's like, okay, you was, your, your ancestors were oppressed. Mm -hmm. Okay, so now you did a job. You're doing a good job. Somebody come along with you, come along less qualified, but because of the color of their skin, they get a promotion. Yep. And and you're stuck at the same spot. I know it. I know how so, about this so, example? So, how about this example? Because it's how trendy. Do you move on? Because it's trendy, a homosexual will get a job before a black person because it's trendy. So how is that right? So, <laughs> so exactly how can you move yeah, on? Yeah. A, homo, how can you a homosexual on? will get a job, but not a black homosexual. No, I know. See, like you can't. It's like a catch I'm twenty two. I'm right? gonna tell you something. See, until the world start really acknowledging itself, you can't try to conceal racism. Yeah. Because it's a lie. It's a lie. Right? It's here. It's just, period. Yep. It's just, and I, you know, like I'm very respectful. It. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? But I can get fucked up because I see it all day. I I, I deal with it at work. Mm -hmm. You know, I got certifications for all kind of shit. That shit don't matter. Mm -hmm. I'm still a fucking black man, yeah. nigga, whatever. Yeah. They might be calling me. Well, we're all that. I mean, really, if no, we're not. Well, hold we're on. Not. Let me well, let me just let me just say. Person. Person. Yeah. You have Chinese niggas. You have white niggas. You have Polish niggas. You have. You know, it doesn't matter about the color of your skin or the sex you are. Or like you have. Nigga is just an ignorant person. I'm now, saying, if a nigga, Google listen, it, hold on. <laughs> he is an ignorant person based on the dictionary. Right. Yeah, right. Come on now. Right. The dictionary, anybody can tweak the dictionary, the fucking Bible got to tweak. Yeah. But it's you nice. understand what I'm saying? We're going off facts. Mm -hmm. The fact of is a nigga is a fucking black man. That's the fact. Ain't no fucking. Well, if you it's an it ignorant person. No, no. no. Like that. that's Google. That's what yeah, I'm right. Saying. Government Google. Google. <laughs> Google been tweaked. Right. Somebody may Google. I'm yeah. Oh, all right. We're gonna say this. It's when government. Person asks this, public opinion. We're yeah. gonna say this is what this means. Yeah. But that's agree. all it is. That's I why I'm, I'm talking facts. Facts is you is a nigga. You a woman nigga. What about if this? You go somewhere. That's what the fuck you gonna be. Mm -hmm. Did you just get that promotion at your job? 
No, you did. Exactly. Could so I ask you a question about? You. Could I ask you a question and related to that? What do you think about black Hollywood sport professionals who sell out to get to where they're at? Like LeBron James, Steph Curry. Would you call them like I, Uncle Tom type I, people? I feel two different ways. I feel like if they honestly, honestly sold out, they definitely some they sell out. You know they, you know they was easily bought. Yeah, right. You know what I'm saying? Because there's and, a narrative then, in when when the slave community back then, when people were out picking cotton, kind of like the prison system. Where you're a snitch, right. and then you get into the big house. Exactly, because right. snitching, snitching been going on in slavery. Right. Mm -hmm. That's why we was in And it slavery. happens in the prison system, too. Yeah. That's how slavery we became. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. One black man got jealous of another black man, mm -hmm. and when it told the English, mm -hmm. was it the English or the British? It was either or. Some and, of them allegedly and the, and were the, Jew, too, so then something to think about. They, they came, hey, we got these black guys over here. And, and and they came because they just yeah because they just didn't agree they didn't like them so exactly. then they were like oh okay so then you get into the big house and then now you can so, stay inside so when it's ninety that, degrees outside all of that type of stuff is going on today and 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 and, and to answer the question that you just asked me with the LeBron thing another you know um, perspective. perspective the way to look at it is the government mm -hmm. you know the government could have came to him and say hey, look if you don't go over here. We about to end your whole <laughs> yeah, right. LeBron shit. Yeah. You're going to be nothing. You know what I'm saying? I believe that type of shit happened. Like Michael Jordan. You know, with his shoes, the only thing that got him going is his shoes. Mm -hmm. Honestly, it's been a whole bunch of players that have done, outdone Michael Jordan. Let me ask you this, okay? Are you into Gematria? No. Okay, like numbers and stuff? What about sacrifice? Are you familiar with, like, sacrificing... Family yeah. members and whatnot. Yeah. So allegedly, after Michael Jordan had won his three, played baseball, his dad died, his dad died and exactly. then he came back and won three more. Exactly. Um, new player from the Boston Celtics who just got drafted, his dad just recently died. Died. Exactly. And that's Is there anything to that? Do you think? That's that's part of the government. It could be. It could be something. Secret society. It Illuminati. Could be a secret society. You know. I feel like it could be coincidence it, because you know, like. It's so much stuff going on in the world from my mm. point of view that but it's also we do have a a, pre, a god yes you know mm -hmm. who's controlling who controls everything mm -hmm. and maybe it was their time maybe it wasn't their time we don't know see that's when the questions come up like well is this true because some people can take what was meant to happen and make it into something mm -hmm. that is not even nowhere near what it is Maybe his dad died a year ago, and now they're just making it public, right? I mean, who knows? It could be that. Because I don't know. <laughs> How do you fact check these things? Or he probably, his dad probably died, and it made him push hard. Like, Possibly. okay, I'm going to do this for my dad. Because my nephew, he played ball. Mm -hmm. His god sister got killed in mm -hmm. a car accident. Mm -hmm. So, you know, he still he started going harder for the memory of his god sister. Yeah. So, you know, you never really can... You know, under you never really can flip it to say what you wanted to say. I mean, you can, but that doesn't make it right or wrong. It or true, mean, right? Yeah. Or exactly. true, right? Yeah. Right. Mm -hmm. It just means this is what you think, or this is your opinion, because that's what the world been fake news. It's nothing but opinion. Yeah, and before I made the sign, it was does free speech require facts? Because it seems like a lot of people think that to have free speech, you have to have some kind of factual evidence or whatever to back up your free speech, yeah, and I, I don't personally agree with that. I no, do. because a person can I say do. anything. Okay, cool. I believe it you should. You have to have a fact. Doesn't it just make it more credible? No, nah, I just feel like it has to be a fact. You can't, you can't meet a person and say, "Hey, look." <laughs> you can't meet a person that you know that that can sit there and tell you, you know, "Hey, I didn't become a millionaire overnight." I was homeless. I lived in the bus stops. I lived slept in my car, friend's house. I slept in bushes. You know, I did all these different things. I had to learn. That's how I became a millionaire. Now, he's just telling us that. How do we know? Mm -hmm. You have to have a fact. Mm -hmm. You have to have a fact. 
because what you're telling us, it could be a fact. And you probably already have it, like, proven, a, a proven fact, and you're trying to enlighten us on it, and we don't have facts. We just both speaking off of what we, you know, stuff that we done read or what we done saw on YouTube or heard or, you know, but who really knows? Because it's, like she said, it's so much shit going on out here. You can tweak anything. I know, right? You can yeah. tweak anything. Who is, who is you know? Calhoun? What's his name? John Calhoun? Yeah, and then they changed it. So who is he? I, I never met him. Before. I know. Yeah. So I don't know if he was racist. I don't know who he was because I never met right. him. Right. He could be on a racist part. Yeah, now you get you ostracized know. when you say Lake Calhoun because now it's called Bidet Makaska. Exactly. <laughs> but it's going to always be Lake Calhoun. But the, the whole thing is they need to change the street signs too. I know. Yeah. Calhoun Drive. Calhoun Drive. But they can't. So you gotta, and that's why exactly. that's where facts come in. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You understand what I'm saying? Yep. That, that answers your question. They can't change the sign because Calhoun was Calhoun. That's what this. They cannot tweak it. <laughs> yeah. And you know they trying to. Mm -hmm. You know, but they can't. No matter what. You know, people still gonna call this motherfucker Lake Calhoun. And it's social engineering because it takes 10 or 15 years to change public opinion. Yeah. So that's why, you know, in the school systems, things are the way that they are, and then they get changed. But it takes a generation of people to die off, no offense, right? Or uh, public opinion changes. So, yeah. Right. Yeah, I do nice have a YouTube to channel. You, I'd love to <clears throat> stop by, man. I'm going to see you on there, man. Appreciate it. My name on YouTube, my name is King Kuta. King Kuta? Yeah, so right on, man. I'll look forward to it. I'm Joshua. What's up? I can't hear you. You're walking away. I figured it was only fair, right? They're walking a little faster now. I guess they figured if they can take pictures of my booth, then I can take pictures of them, right? Oh, yeah? So is CNN real news then? Yeah, that's really than Fox. Oh, okay. Who said so? I mean, you can just tell. You know what I'm saying? Like, they get busted all the time and, and promoting fake news. Hmm. Are you selling this? Uh, I got a YouTube channel here. Did you like a water? I got a bottle of water. For free? Yeah, of course, man. I, why would I charge water, right? You want some water? Ooh. This is cool. So what are you doing out here? Uh, just sharing uh, an alternative viewpoint about where we live and wondering if that's fake news. I'm going to look this up. Right on, man.
I'm gonna look good. I promise. Okay. Take care of yourself out there. No worries. That's up to you to decide, right? Is it fake news? <laughs> well, I don't know, is it? Uh -oh. No, it's not. Okay. <laughs> Thank you for your input. You're welcome. Uh, there is a guy walking back with a red shirt and a red hat. You should talk to him. Thick beard. Talk to him. Santa Claus? Uh, Mexican uh, Santa Claus. Oh, okay. Right on. Yeah, I'm just going to... I'm just going to sit here and... Okay. Hey, he's Republican Trump. Okay. Good for him. Good for him. Awesome. Really impressed. I don't know, you tell me. For thousands of years we knew it was flat. Okay. Have you been around thousands of years? No, but my ancestors have. Okay, my what did books have. and what did they Twitter you about the Wait, earth? What's Twitter? Being what's Twitter? I don't know. You tell me. You just brought it up to me. Why would I be able to tell you something I'm not familiar with? Okay. But the earth is flat though. Okay. Do you have any proof? Do you have proof that the earth is round? I'm asked so what are you gonna play this game? Oh no! What I'm saying. I is, can't ask you a question. You give me an answer, and then and then you ask me a question, and then I give you an answer. Isn't that like how a conversation works? We can have a conversation. Okay, so you say the Earth is flat. How do you know the Earth is no, flat? I'm not saying the Earth is flat. I'm saying for thousands of years, there's been an understanding that the Earth is flat, right? And all of a sudden now, we believe that it's round. Like right now, today? Yeah. Like if I take a soccer ball, if I take that globe, I don't have a water bottle, but if I pour water on that globe, it's gonna fall off the edges, right? Okay. And yeah, we have water in this lake, so clearly the earth is flat. Okay. Right. I, that's a great observation. So that, no, that's like if I, if I put a basketball on the floor right now, it's not gonna roll away, right? It that's will if you flat. give it pressure. If you push it, it, it will. It, but then I'm influencing its trajectory. Uh huh. But if I just put a basketball on the floor, it's not gonna roll away because the earth is flat. Yeah. Okay, but is it because the maybe the path is level and flat? Well, because as a whole, the Earth is flat. Like how do you know that? How have how have no, you verified that? I verified it because uh, when I go like on the ocean, right, I can see and everything's flat. Like nothing looks round. Man. If there's a boat at the very end, it looks small, but it's not like half the boat is hiding behind like a curve. 
Half the boat isn't hiding behind the curve? No, no, none of the boat hides. If it was like, if the earth was round, there'd be curvature, therefore I wouldn't be able to see half the boat. But we are going to go canoeing, though. Okay. Now, what, can I ask you something? What was your stance on this, by the way? Yeah, you can. I got a YouTube channel. Maybe you'd be interested in checking it out. I'll say, what's your stance? Well, you can look at the YouTube card I have here and find, figure that out. Oh, he's a flatter thing. I appreciate so, it. Well, my F-C. name is Joshua. So, F-C. My name F-C. is Joshua. Yes. Yes. Flat Earth Society. Uh, negative. So you're not a flat earther? Uh, the, gov- the Flat Earth Society is run by NASA. You would think I'm Flat Earth Society? No, I think you're a flat earther. I don't know what you are. I asked you. You didn't want to answer me. That. Well, I'm Joshua. Nice to meet you. Right. No, okay. that's not what I'm, I'm not asking you your name. I'm saying what you're saying. Well, you're, you're identifying me as a flat earther, and I kind of take you're offense to that. You're not trying to convince me. I don't, I, honestly, I don't know what you're trying to argue. I'm just saying, you know, I believe there. I was just told to have fun with you by your friends earlier, so because oh. you're you're the Hispanic saying, Santa Claus. I'm just saying that I, I believe that was a little racist. But well, that's what they said, not me. It's on I camera. Do you so. have proof that they said that? I, it's on camera. Yeah. Okay, sure. All I'm saying is that I'm a flat earther. I believe the earth is flat, and I asked you what your stance is, and you won't tell me your stance. So therefore, I have to make assumptions. Can I have one of the cards? Of course, you can. Yeah. No worries. So are you going to tell me what your stance is? Well, I know the earth is flat. flat. I don't okay, believe so it. I agree. But I, I, you said you believe it is. I know it is. That's the same thing. Mm, belief is different than knowing, in my opinion. But what do I know, right? I'm a flat earther. I'm a flat earther too. That's okay. Yeah, but you said flat earth society, so I'm kind of questioning whether you are or not. Well, a real flat earther, in my opinion, would never bring that up in the first place. Right back at you, Slick. Mr. Worldwide. How you doing? I'm good. I just wanted to know what this is all about. Yeah. Um, what is fake news to you? What is fake news to you? Fake news? Yeah. Fake news to me. I mean, Trump says it all the time. Okay. Is he uh, like your prophet or something? Oh my god, I fucking love Trump. Well, I mean, you quoted him, right? Nah, it's just he always says it. Yeah. But I, I believe it's, you know, media saying stuff. I don't know if it's true or not. They put stuff out there. You never know if it's true or not. It could be fake, it could be real. But yeah. Yeah. We're talking about the earth. Though. Is flat earth is flat earth fake news? Can I ask you a question? I you know, ask you a question, so, and then you can no. ask me a question. I'm gonna say no. Is that fake news? Flat Earth yes. is fake news. You got a globe here. <laughs> I do. Yeah, it's I use. Flat. I use that. I got a YouTube channel. Oh, cool. Yeah, big deal, right? But have you ever seen the Earth from outer space at 23.4 degrees tilt? Do you know how much it costs to go up in outer space? I do, yeah. Exactly. Eighty. Like you can actually go right now. Yeah, make, make I know. Uh, do you have any questions? I, I, I was actually. I was, I'm, I'm, this is like a. Uh, NASA's out of state last night. Uh, community. Uh, community. Uh, community. Uh, community. Oh, there you go. Oh, we're at. Okay, 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 okay no. Good. Him, him, and I are. We're not arguing. They're we're just debating okay. whether the Earth is flat or not. He says that it is. Well, I said it's not. He's like, how do you know? Well, I mean, he says it's flat. Well, I'm looking at this world. Travel to too. I mean, right now I'm like. We're, we're we're going fast at it on an axis. We're rotating. Okay, you should be talking to him. Oh, anyways, do you have like a routine or something? What's your name? I'm Joshua. Oh, I'm Zach. I'm Zach, Zach. I love routines. Yeah. Routine. <laughs> okay. Do you, do you go on tour? Tour? Yeah. Do you go on tour with this? No. No. Oh, you should. <laughs> really? Yeah. Why? You just seem like you're you walk to a pl- into a place and somehow people notice you. Oh no, I oh, notice no, you. That's <laughs> true. <laughs> that's true. You gave too much time not uh, responding. He wanted you to go ahead and go into yours. I was trying to. So he, so, he no, was no, giving no, no, you no. a second, but you didn't take over, so he just went into getting it out of you. I I just allow people brevity to. I'm a listener. I try to be a listener. That's a good thing. You know. So. Oh, can I tell you about my problems? No. Oh, my God. Yeah, go for it. Are you, you a know, vegan? Are flat you a vegan? Oh, we're oh, talking right. about the flat earth. No, no, no. So we're, we're back on the flat earth, though. But for real. For real, for real. Um, yeah. So, no, I don't believe that the earth is flat. Okay. Do you have t- maybe two evidences to show, maybe to get me back to the fold? Sure. So, what the the earth earth is, you, are, so you are with the flat earth. Is that which I, I, I wasn't a judging or assuming. I, I, I didn't I, I think. Realize, I, want, I, want to, I want to make my opening statement. Yeah, it's just uh, give it up. But I'm going to say this. Give it over. Okay, so every night when I look up in the sky and I see the moon, Moon's not fucking flat. Okay. 
It's circular. Yeah. And you see, and you see it go across. Mm -hmm. The stars and everything changes as well, too. It you goes, know? It goes around. So it I believe that. It doesn't just go across. And no matter whether you go down to, uh, I've been down to uh, Brazil, Everywhere. just traveling. So you've been upside down. Okay. Yes. Yeah. Everything is flipped around and looks different. So I'm like, okay, obviously it's not flat. Otherwise, if it was flat, it would be the same, hmm. no matter where I'm at. You because think so? It's, huh? it's flat. Okay. Yeah. Fair right? Enough. You don't think so? That if, the, if something's flat and I'm way up here and I look up and I'm way down here and I look up, it's still the same. Can I have you do an experiment? Yeah. Because you'd probably you'd seem like the type that wants to, no offense, prove other people wrong. I'm not trying to prove anybody. I'm just okay, saying what I believe. Just in. Find the truth. Yeah, yeah. Find yeah. The truth. So you don't just listen to what everybody says. No, I I challenge I'm not being people. Recorded, am I? Yeah, you are. Oh, <laughs> hi guys. What was the, what was the, I see. What was the, the troll about? Is that your, <clears throat> your moniker, like your avatar? Oh, uh, you know, I like to have fun with particular spirits that come to my table, and some seem more serious than others. Do you believe in Jesus Christ? Oh uh, yes, I do. I believe that God I said manifested I himself. A reading and he's as like, I believe that God manifested himself as a man and lived a perfect life and died for me, which I feel is this type of spirit which allows me to do this on my own for the last two and a half years. So it, really, what this what flat Earth does is it brings people back to creation because it seems like Christians have this kind of idea that somewhere in the Bible it describes us living on a ball, floating in outer space. And at no point does it ever say that. It actually describes a firmament in Genesis 1, which means there's a ceiling above us, of which we can't penetrate through. And multiple times it talks about an immovable, motionless plane. And how can we measure the earth? Can I ask a favor? Yeah, of course you can. Yeah. I knew you said you're into, you do believe in Jesus. Yeah. Can I give you this? And I want to take one of yours. Yeah. Well. I'll look into you more if you read that yeah. a little bit more too as well. Is this like a church of yours that you go to? or I actually um, church... By the Holy Spirit, to be honest with you. Yeah, I me have, too. I have attended, attended churches over the years, but in these last days, which I believe we're in the end times, and this is yeah. the final, final time before tribulation starts, I've, I will speak to churches, and I'll go to churches and find out what, but there's a lot of stuff, there's a lot of deception in the world in general on a day-to-day -day basis, so I try not to get too deep into that, and the Holy Spirit's leading me in all, all truth right now, so I just listen to Jesus and I go there, but if anybody invites me, I'll go, and I'll go check it out and this and that, but I just more... I've been over the years and learned enough that now I just talk to God every day. He, he's telling me everything of what's coming, so I kind of step back on that. Moment. I, yeah, I just I, I, I asked what, because I saw the Bloomington Church that, on the that, back. Well, so that, what that is like, is my mom lives in the area, and I actually ran into a lady who lives near me, and she gave me that pamphlet, and I paid on. So I told her I'd pass it out to her. I don't know what that Sorry. See, Siri, the devil. I rebuke you, Satan. Jesus exactly. Christ, name. Isn't it he funny how all of always tries to interrupt her? <laughs> Isn't it funny how all the AI have female voices? Right. They, they try to they try to interrupt the truth. They don't want to. They don't want to. Mine's actually you. a guy's voice. They don't. Want, you had to change it though, right? They don't, yeah. don't yeah. want to acknowledge, you know, the, yeah. the, 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 the true, the true creator of. The, I I definitely am listening to what you're saying because I see it on a daily basis out here. Right. I don't come out here every day, but you know, when the weather is nice like it was today, okay? and I experience I the spirits God. that are out here, okay. just to say that. Oh. The earth is something other than what we're taught in school. Mm -hmm. Really irritates people because government is their god. Right. right. And you, I mean, you have to dig in deeper and know. It's, I mean, it's, just because you start to investigate doesn't mean that you all of a sudden are leaving that. Yeah, but right. It's good to know the different religions, know this and that, but it's because otherwise... Know your enemy, right? It, exactly. Yeah. You, otherwise, you're too you're, you're closed in. But that church, she's a good lady. That is a good church. It's right by there. I personally just am not going to go and just be honest with you. I'm a Seventh-day Adventist, yeah. which is, you know, believing yep. that Saturday Besides, is the Sabbath. It is, yeah. Because God created the world in six days and he rested on the seventh. Yep, totally. Church and religion and I think America's false the evil yeah. that's in the world is trying to get us on, well, already has everybody on Sundays and has a lot of other things. And as these last days are presenting themselves more and more, mm -hmm. I know that I have to stand on the ground. Do you think UFOs exist then? Can I ask you that? No, absolutely not. You don't no. think so? Mm -hmm. Do you wanna I mean, you UFOs, know? like... Other military flying That's where they projects go. and stuff. Yeah. You want to know what I can I just interject because you said it. Aliens story. are a demonic entities. Aliens, aliens yeah. are a demonic entity, a hundred percent. And I'm going to tell you that is the strong delusion that when all of those Christians are raptured out of here, that's what they're going to tell the rest of everybody else that we were taken by aliens. Aliens are going to be come here. We're going to see them. But those are the fallen angels, as you said. Those are demonic mm -hmm. entities, and they're going to be the ones that trick everybody else. Have you ever read the book Left Behind? I have, yeah. Oh Kirk God, Cameron. So good. Yeah. One thing I, I share with people that are ready for it is I think the Earth is a horizontal level plane that goes on infinitely forever. In my opinion, there's just more water because water is spirit. I think that there's another continent out here somewhere 
where they have a particular androgynous race of people. That's why the transsexual agenda is moving along so quickly. Because they, they want people used to... Because thinks they're trying to play on that too. Yeah, they, well, they have perverted this the scripture that says we will create them man and woman, but then it's one man and woman in one entity with no physical characteristics of male or female. So the alien well, race, quote, that will come to America or wherever... Basically, they're already binary, non-binary. Yeah, there will X, be bon non-binary. Have mm -hmm. you seen people that are getting the sex changes to being like kin, mannequins, the Barbie and the Kindle? They have no yeah. female or male. Like, to this day, they either sewed it up or they've taken it off and you pull down their pants and they look like a Barbie doll. Yeah, and 50% of those people, particularly men like, yeah. who do that, attempt suicide. But there's a big suicide right now. because they because they, they think that's gonna find them and then they realize they're still lost and then they really don't know what to do because they can't go back. Anymore. Yeah, they can't go back they can't. because they've already inverted it. No, what's in name again, brother? Joshua. Joshua. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Good yeah. name. Yeah. I mean, he, 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 he's hard on you. Mess with you. Take take it. Yeah. But it, it helps us all. I, I wasn't yeah. messing with you. No, no, no. no I, I like it because it, it opens fun. up. We you have so to. So can be, I ask you, you when I look up in the sky? Why is the moon look? It's just a light in the sky. If you read Genesis one. It's a uh, lesser light for the night and a greater light for the day is the sun. So it, those are lights in the sky. They, they're not physical objects to be landed on. And one thing that I know too is when he said that he takes our sins and he casts them as far as the east is the west. Everybody usually assumes that it's just the east the west coast, but in God's east doesn't end, west yeah. doesn't end. So if you believe in Jesus Christ and you give your life to him, your sins will be cast as far away as you can never find them again and God never sees them again. So you definitely <coughs> What do you think about repentance? Repentance is necessary. It doesn't save you. I believe you're saved by grace through faith in Jesus Christ. It's not of our self, not of works, nothing you can do to save you. But if you believe in the simple gift of God that he gave Jesus Christ to die for us, and you believe that with faith, you can't see it, you can't get it from any other way, but belief in him, then you are saved and you will go. Because we love him, we repent of our sins and we walk in obedience and we do right daily, just like you do to your parents and any authority figure that you respect. Yeah. It's not going to save you. Nobody's good enough. You can't do anything yourself. Yeah. But as far as accepting it and knowing, then you repent every day. Yes, I believe. Is that answer where you're coming from? Or yeah, no. I, what I, my point was is, is ever since I started doing this over the, so the last three years where I start sharing this information, uh -huh. um, this place has is like a dripping faucet where it constantly reminds you of your past. Right. And it won't allow you to repent. People remind you of your past. People will troll me or think that they can try to throw me under the bus with other flat earthers and say, look what he did in this past. And that means that apparently you're not supposed to talk to me and I'm not allowed to do this anymore. And so this place is, is just a constant reminder. And I am only able to sleep at night because God allows me the grace to do so. I mean, we'll, only <laughs> find, we'll only find out for sure whether it's, it's round or it's flat when we're raptured, you know, but until then, I like your faith. I like your, you know, Questioning, making people think, bringing it out. So that's 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 good. Keep doing what you're doing. Yeah, thanks, guys. Don't, it's not a it's not a heaven or hell issue on where you believe. Yeah, this isn't a salvation yeah, issue, exactly. but it is about creation. Well, I do it, feel it like it's is. important. Need to more, as long as they respect and, and honor the Creator, then you can pay attention to creation all you want. But if you're honoring and you're respecting and uplifting the creation, then you're in fault. It's yeah, yeah, yeah. Whatever, right. Whatever, whatever. Yeah, because I feel like this through this what this has done for most in this quote community Commonwealth of Flat Earth. There's a saying that there are no atheists in Flat Earth. So atheists who thought outer space was real and Star Wars and Star Trek was real, they realize that outer space in and of itself, just prescribed by Hollywood, is not real at all. There's actually space is water. And they get back down to Earth and they just observe things here on Earth and stop worrying about the sky. Because if you bought a new house and you wanted to carpet the floor, you don't measure the ceiling. Right. They're temporal. They're only focused on the material. Yeah. A good question. Yeah, well, sure thing. Pay, I just had a question. So. We, we were Did you have to pay for this spot? Oh, no, this is public property. Oh, so you can just, okay. Yeah, yeah, you can just hang out. No, no, you good. I just yeah. to, I got a YouTube channel. Maybe you could just, yeah, you know. Uh, I used to uh, dive into all this. Yeah, why not? Yeah, it's good. You got you, you to gotta check, man. If you just believe what you're told, you're going to be following, yeah. following the thing. Follow in the current, man. You gotta, yeah, right. definitely got to look into it. Tell me the name one more time, man. Joshua. Joshua. Yeah. Is it yeah. on the card or no? Uh, did you grab one? I did grab one. Yeah, yeah. It, so, authentic and sanctified. What do you think about other religions? Oh, uh, people can believe what they want, but the ball Earth is the largest religion on Earth right now. People believing they live here, and they never verified it themselves, and just believe science has done so it. You don't think that we've ever been to space? You're saying no. that we've never been to the moon. We've no. never been anywhere. 
you know, all that. It's just make a little nation. Yeah, it, it really is. Yeah. It, it really is. It yeah, your, it keeps your mind or it focuses your mind on something that you just look at. Like, yeah. Try to, Ironically which, enough. No, I didn't know that that came up. I thought it was on Tesco. Oh, yeah, I yeah. Was, sure. I was just looking at NASA. I was looking at the website yeah. yesterday, actually. And I was, I mean, I went as far out in space as came, came back. Their website actually is updated <laughs> I know. a lot right now. Yeah. I mean, I was looking. That's because the moon landing anniversary is on the 20th. Sun, it, it's right, yep. Oh, that's why so many people are they're, fucking they're trying, the NASA. Yeah, the NASA, yeah, the the NASA shit that we See, it's a so religion. Much, so much stuff is going It's a religion they're, for them. They're, they're trying to. They're I trying take to, this away from them and they get just, they a spirit and comes out of them where there's just literally a gnashing of teeth. Well, I'd say my mom's a teacher and mm -hmm. uh, I hate a teacher. You did it, teacher. But I'll, yes. say, I'll say one thing. She says very similar things, though. She talks about the universe and not, and not necessarily about planet and stuff like that. Well, yeah. it's because there's so, there's someone out there that says, we're going to teach your kids a certain way. Yeah. And, like, there's the... I, uh, yeah, she doesn't teach that, too. That's the thing. She doesn't teach like that. No. And then, she teaches blocks and stuff like that, different levels of I mean, when, when, we, when I was... When, think about when we went to high school. What she did they does. Talk like, about Thanksgiving. Different. You know, about right things that... Was. It's like that's not how it's it happened. Not, they want us to believe no, in a certain way, like yep. and we grew up learning this. And it's like this is what we know because this is what we're taught. But is it actually true? Is it fake? Is it not? Like who knows? It's yeah. fake news. Like when, so, if you were to ask me what's fake news, that's it's about what you know or about what you experience in life that gets you to real thinking and real understanding. Really, under, like he said, understand. Mm -hmm. You really need to understand and not just like listen. And think everything that you hear is right, because you gotta gotta do some research yourself and be like, okay. I know, but, really but you know, you gotta realize though. You know, you, put, you hit Yahoo or something like that, Google. The first thing they put up there is the one you catch when you want to read it. But oh, yeah. It's not that <clears throat> they pay so many ads. They still pay so much money to look at the first one. Okay? Yeah. It's not really that's what it is. Yeah. So people get this instructed uh, about thinking that hey, look at this the very first page. You gotta go like thirty pages below. Yeah, I know, and right? Then, oh. You don't actually get. You know, light up later. Uh, stuff. Is it lit up? No, it's Should not. Be. Oh, it is now. Oh, no, you, it's probably a little yeah. early for us too. I was just wondering. I just, I was like, is that light? So yeah, when I go on Google you, you Earth, right? it shows like, that it's not flat. I mean, well, it's when it's you go on Google light. Earth, it's a cartoon until you get within sixty-five thousand feet, and then from high altitude balloons and airplanes, that's when you experience real life. For example. We don't live in that level. And, 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 and so Hollywood, if you watch, all you got to do is watch one movie and the green screen and all they can do, you don't... Oh, yeah, I mean, not, the ISS is such yourself and not, a yeah, fraud. Going up to the ISS, yeah, it's like... There's no telling what, what was, was where. Like, well, in the, in the Christian community, particularly here in America, tradition is certainly more important than fact. Yeah. So, and that's, and that's what people don't realize. Religion doesn't say who Jesus is. Right. They're, they're more focused on this is what my parents taught me. This is what this is. Yeah, what Jesus was born on Christmas Day. He died on Easter. I mean, that's not even. Oh no! It's, yeah, the whole basis. Like I've been it's blessed a, a lot of the past a, few years to find out that. Yeah, yeah. Oh no! Is, is that what I feel? Yeah, yeah. I, I knew it was gonna rain, but I was like, I, it was I thought you said like eleven. That was eleven. All right, build a raindrop right now. That's probably not enough. Right so now. let me ask you this, though. Yeah. Uh, sunset, sunrise, how does it happen? It just travels further away from your perspective, and it's just doing one of these around the North Pole, like this. It's a circuit, mm -hmm. possibly. But it's just traveling further away from your possibly. perspective. Do you believe in North Pole? Well, I know that the Earth is not a ball in outer space, and the sun is closer, and it's much smaller than we're taught. That's all. Now, the co where the continents are on this pond, especially because it started out in Pangaea, and now everything is kind of like you know spread out some. So it's like, what know. if it still is? I mean, you're taking somebody else's well, word for even that. Right? I travel in Africa. Looks like they fit together. They did. They used to. You can I haven't traveled right. outside of the United States, but everywhere that I have been to, to the coast, in order to get to another land, I would have to get on a plane or a boat. And so that tells me it can't be Pangaea because I would be able to walk from here to Africa. Right. Well, you can allegedly walk from uh, Alaska to Russia. I mean, I wish I had the I wish I had the finances that I could afford to take that type of backpack trip because I would, but I don't. As far as my limited resources, I haven't been able to plan that trip. Yeah. So I heard you say about global warming, right? Yeah. So what I encourage you to do, you can do your own experiment and find that out. Have two glasses. Fill one up with just water. Fill another up with ice and water. And then the next morning, see which one of those is overflowing. That's not going to Yeah, it's ice. Right, so how is it that the ice caps are going to melt and drown us all? There is evidence. So you have a cup of water, and then you have a cup of water with ice in it. For example, the water is going to... 
but it depends how high the ice is gonna be with the water, how water, how high the water is gonna be. Well, I'm, you can't I'm, pull them full. You can't take a full glass of both water and put ice in it and be all at the top. Obviously, the ice is gonna fall over because it's gonna melt and mix. If there's no ice itself. volume, right. then the actual water. Right, right. but now if you put a cup of water and then it's uh, ice full. Water. Oh, ice if, water. if it's full and then you put water right down below and fill up with your ice, it's gonna fall. It won't. Let me ask you a question. Overflow. Let me ask you a question. We just got drinks, right? And they fill our glasses up with ice and mixed drinks and alcohol. But we were out in the hot sun. Kind of because it melts. Out what about the fact of our, place since place 2010, earth, our like everything, like Gulf up, so Stream like, has not, you know, our North Atlantic coast the occurrence? They haven't been rotating. They haven't Anyways, been, we gotta go our, before it rains, rains. All right, all right. Our current, our current stop is what I'm wondering. And if the if the ice caps aren't melting and they're not putting all this extra fresh water into the salt water, why did the salt water current stop flowing as it has been flowing? Is one of the one of the things I'm kind of like just angled. I'm not not, yeah. not trying to get tell you too questions. No, you're fine. I just don't yeah. believe anything the government says. So <laughs> well, just I'm just raised in California, I've felt the water temperature difference over the years of yeah. being in the water is different. But I mean, there is a few different things. But yeah, no, you gave us some food for thought, man. I appreciate yeah. it. I'll yeah, thanks right for it, stopping. Man. I'll chew on yours too. I'm gonna right on. with the best conversation you have. I appreciate that. You know that you have so, that biblical name, right? I know, right? So, yeah. yeah, it's a good thing. Gotta, uh, appreciate it. Yeah, thanks a lot. Josh. Yeah, Joshua. Yep. Take care. Oh, you dropped, you dropped the oh yeah. Well, I'll, I don't want to litter, so I'll take care of it. <laughs>